Hello and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. If you are new here, feel free to subscribe and join us. I have reached 250 subscribers and that is amazing to me. So thank you all so very much who have subscribed, if you're even watching. <laughs> thank you, thank you. That was my second goal that I had set for myself. I don't know why I would set subscriber goals, but I did. And I was like, well, when, when I reached 250, I don't know. But that was pretty cool. And I'm so happy. But anyway, I have here a box because I made an order with Art Dot. They had a Mother's Day sale. So I went ahead and ordered. I've got to like, organize this room a little better. But anyway, I went ahead and made an order. With the sale, if I bought three items, I got one free, as well as I think I got 20% off. And this was the free one on the top. And then I also got two containers. Oh my gosh, this one is massive. Holy crap. Well, look at that. Let me get rid of the box. Yeah, that's good. All right. So I got two storage containers. I don't know if I have any diamond paintings that are this big. I might. Or I need more than 60. But I might. I don't know. I might have some. I have a lot of diamond paintings now. So it is possible. Also, sorry about the crinkling. There we go. So this is the winter theme or polar bear, I think is what they called it. This was called polar bear. Or the north, something like that. I can't remember. They had a they had a name for it though. And that's really cute. I like the polar bear. There's a wolf up there. The Arctic, maybe? The yeah, I think it might be the Arctic. And this is a 120 piece case. And just look how thick this thing is. Like that is chunky. It is a chunky case. It also has a smell. Oh, okay. That's an interesting smell. There's an extra cover in here. Oh no, it's weird. The cover is like, it goes here. Okay, let's see, it's the round containers. And there should be two levels of these guys. Look at that. Whole nother set of 60. And they're the, the average normal size round containers that holds quite a bit of drills. That is nice. And then it comes with some extra stuff. Got a got one of these pop out things. What do you call these? Funnel. That's it. <laughs> pop out funnels. I don't use these like, ever. Ever use them. I don't even know what I would do with them. Some stickers. That's good. And then we got a tray. There's a straightener back here. Big straightener. Some tweezers some different pens with multi-placers, a bag of baggies, two green trays. What the heck's going on outside? Mini man, what are you watching? Oh, something's going outside. Are there only two? Looks like two green trays. Look at all this wax. <laughs> oh, it's stuck to the trays. It also got squished. The wax got squished. And there's more stickers in there. Let me put the stickers in here. Bye. What were you? I don't know. But bye. I'll find you later. <laughs> but look at all this wax. It got squished. That's a lot of wax. You'd never need wax again. Ever. Oh, I don't know. I don't know how people diamond paint. 
Some people might use more wax than others. Me, I don't use very much. So like <laughs> one, I haven't even used one full square yet ever in. Okay. But anyway, so this was, I think it was Arctic or something like that. I could look at my email, but I can't because it's on my phone. And that's my phone. All right. That is that one. Because I wanted some more storage in my life. I actually want to stop using these ones. Um, we had some, some fun times with those. And my kitten knocked them off the table. And my drills went everywhere. <laughs> Yay. So now I have to look into ordering new drills because I just swept those suckers up and threw them away. I was not picking through those. Maybe at some point uh, I'll order new drills if I ever get around to working on that one. This bag is weird. It says Art Dot on it though. It says Art Dot. And it says what's inside. That's cool. We're gonna see it anyway. So this one I do remember was called Australia. And it has the kangaroo. I thought the kangaroo was cute. This is just the average 60. So you can see the difference between the two. <laughs> there we go. You're 60, 120. <laughs> it literally is double. It's a chunky boy, like I said. All right, so we'll open up this one. I like the, the theming on this. I like the koala, you get a gator. A whatever, a lemur, maybe? I don't know. And then again, you just have those round bottles. And there's 60, and I already know what kit's going in this one. It's gonna be my cat, Peanut, for the DP for pets. Yeah. And, and then it's the same stuff. So you get the straightener, a couple trays, two, well, you know, the white, big white tray, two green trays, all the wax. I'm sure there's more stickers in there even, <laughs> but there's no extra stickers out here. That's interesting. Oh, well, that's fine. And then I thought I got, I guess it's an A3. I, for some reason, I thought it was an A4. And I guess this is an A3. Um, is this A3? It doesn't say. I'm guessing it's an A3 though. It's pretty big. It's bigger than I thought it was going to be. I, this is what I got for free. And there it is. So you can put your diamond paintings in here. It has a definite middle. So yeah. And it's like, yeah, they're kind of locked in there. But I suppose you could take this off and add more if you wanted to. But that's also the handle. If you, I don't know if you'd need to add more. They're pretty nice. Where do they open? Oh, there it is. Okay, there's the opening. They open on the inside. Put your diamond painting in. I don't have a diamond painting in here, but here we go. I mean, I do. It's not finished, but I do have a diamond painting. This is a regular piece of paper, 8 by 10 So you can see, don't mind the mess over here. <laughs> it's my storage corner. All right. This is a regular 8 by 10 piece of paper. You can see how big it is. I'm pretty sure that means this is an A3. And this one is 30 by 30? Well, 12 inches by 12 inches. I don't know what that is in centimeters. I'm sorry. I think it's 30 by 30, though. Let me just pop that in there. And it doesn't fit because it's square. <laughs> but it's okay. It's close, though. Well, I mean, it's like in. If you were to cut this off, maybe it would fit. If you cut the edge off, it would probably fit. But anyway, that fit. 
eight by 10 fit, just fine. I'm sure there's plenty of diamond paintings that I can find to put in here. Actually, no. I got another one because I'm filling, and then you have this little clip thing, so you can clip it closed. You can also write on it right here. So if you wanted to name it, like book one, book two, I don't know, my diamond painting journey, you could do that. And then the, what I'm hoping. Be. This thing is massive, so I'm sorry I'm cutting it off camera. Massive! Oh my gosh. Oh, and it's blue as well. Okay, so like it's not gonna fit in the frame. <laughs> there will it? There it is. It kinda does. Here we'll put it on top of that pink thing. There we go. Will it all the way fit? Yeah! There we go. It's all the way in, in frame. That's amazing. This thing is massive. This is an A1 storage book. And I got this because currently I am using these. Oh, geez, I'm sorry. Let me just whack the camera. These plastic things right here, and they're kind of flimsy. And I have a obviously not worked one in here because I didn't want it to get bent or folded and what is it doing? It's getting bent and folded because this thing just, it's flimsy. So <laughs> I got this for the diamond paintings that I'm not gonna have up on my wall or like that one that I don't wanna get bent or folded but are really kind of big to put in. So let's open this guy up and go ahead and see if that will fit in here. I think it will. I think it should. This thing is just massive though. Oh my gosh. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to show this all the way on camera. Yeah, we actually, there's a bed in this room that we don't use. It's really kind of like a guest bed. My husband and I slept in here the other night. Whoops, that came off. There's like a I don't know if you can see it. <laughs> there is a a velvet a vel velvet velcro piece down here, and it literally just like unstuck. I'll stick it back on to connect up the ed edge the edge down here. Oh, there it is. There it is. See right there. Yeah. We slept in here the other night and my husband just took that diamond painting and he just threw it. <laughs> and I was like, no. <laughs> and then I noticed the cats. So you can, yeah, I'm just unbuckling these. But anyway, you can add more to this if you want to. And then you get the, the sheets are in a plastic bag. <laughs> right? Yeah, the sheets are in a plastic bag. So I have to take the sheets out to take them out of a plastic bag anyway. Okay. That's fun. But yeah, I had to get up, fix the diamond painting, find a place to lay it flat, because I would have just been keeping it on the bed, which even that's not the best place because the cats are messing it up during the day. Oh, it's a struggle. It's a struggle because I don't really want anything to happen to it before I get to work on it. I actually want to work on it. All right, let's see if I can line these all up nice and straight and even. Pop them back into place. I can already feel where it opens. It opens on the inside again, just like the other one. That is nice. Like, that really is nice because I my other one that I have it opens on the top, clip this down. And there really is a lot of space in this piece where you really could add uh, more, more of these sheet things. This one is a two, 
because I've seen others on Bloxy's. <laughs> this one right here is, you can fit two diamond paintings in it, or one maybe? Like if you want to fit one, you just pop it. No, it's two. It's two. Do I, is that, I hope they're not all two. No, they're not. Okay. So there's four. No. Three pages of the split. Honestly. Did you have to go and lay on that? You're so helpful. I mean, check this out. I'm sorry the bed is a mess, but I'm going to take you over to check this out. Because obviously, you want to go work with it. There's a cat on it. But we can see if the sloth puzzle will pit, fit. Because like I said, we slept in that bed and I haven't made it. Because we work a lot, so yeah. I just haven't gotten around to doing that. Haven't gotten around to doing that. I also have to strip the bed, clean the sheets, do all that fun stuff. Because it's time. <laughs> oh, cookie. Cookie. Yeah. Don't hurt my sloth puzzle. All right, so sloth puzzle has just been chilling out as well. And it doesn't fit in that plastic. Now, sloth puzzle is 30 centimeters by... No, sorry, 76 centimeters by 56 centimeters. So 30 inches by 22 inches. And I have a friend helping me. Let's see if this will, I'll put it in this way, fit in here. I am going to frame this at some point. It is supposed to be going above our bed. Thank you. And he's gonna fit beautifully. This is hard to do though. We almost need another hand. Does anybody want to come help me get this in? Anybody out there you want to come help me get this in here? I got it. It's fine. I can do it. All right. Okay, so it does fit in here, and that is 76 centimeters by 56 centimeters. It is a little too big this way, but only the amount of this white. So if you were going to cut that off anyway, and when you store something, it would work. For me, I think I'm just going to leave it in here for now because that's not going to bother me that that's folding over when I fold it because <laughs> it's not like there's going to be a lot of diamond paintings in here right now. <laughs> I only have three. Yeah, three, uh, three that are going to go in here for now. And Sloth Puzzle isn't even staying in here. It's going in a frame. So now we'll put this guy in. This one is, where is your dimensions? Sixty by sixty. A sixty by sixty. It should be fine because the other one was. And see, it's not. So this is fifty. Then, and you can fit fifty in here. So this isn't even gonna work for this one. Uh, I don't know. Maybe it will. Maybe I can tuck this. Because that's not, like, that's not the drill area anyway. That's just the white edge. So maybe I can just tuck that under. Because it's really just the drill area that I want to make sure stays, stays flat. Also, they, they still have the option of spilling out when you pick them up. I've noticed that to turn the pages, uh, that's not going to work. I guess you're going to have to stay in that other thing. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, will you fit? We got Halloween Dragon Lane, and let's see if she will fit. She is 20 by 24 inches. 
I'm sorry, this is not Halloween Dragon Man. Yeah, this is Halloween Dragon Man. Something just fell on the floor. I don't know what else was in here. I forgot. <laughs> she was on my wall. And right now I have Valentine Dragon. She fits perfectly. Obviously not lengthwise this way, but this way she fits perfectly. She's not giving me any issues. So what else was in here? Oh, okay. Noella was in here. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I forgot about this one. I wonder if this one would fit in the smaller ones. No, probably not. Maybe if I cut off the edges, she would fit. Noel. So with these pictures that I'm putting in here, I am trading out in frames in my house so that I get to enjoy them for part of the year. So like this one is Christmas themed. The other one is Halloween themed. During Christmas, I would take this out, pop it in a frame, hang it on the wall and enjoy it. And the same with the Halloween for Halloween. But anyway, I got this mostly for storing my bigger diamond paintings. Like this sloth puzzle. I think you I can fold down this way until I frame you we we'll figure out how we're gonna frame you because we've talked about some different options for framing this like putting it on foam board that sort of thing anyway anyway that is what I got this massive thing for this thing is huge it's literally I think as big as me pretty close it is a solid two-thirds me but I'm short, so it doesn't count, I guess. Maybe it does count. I'm on the short side. <laughs> I don't mind. I like being short. But there it is. The A1 Diamond Art Book from Art Dot. And it has my stuff in it. So I'm good. If you enjoyed, thank you for watching.